<laughs> Yo, welcome back, Nicholas Adam. Uh, I'll start off quickly. We're going to be doing outside light from a double socket. We'll be cutting in, trying to do as neat as we can. Bit of patching up. 20 watt PIR flood out the back of the house. This is my best mate and sister in law's house. So, we have permission to film here. Uh, Expert Electrical sent me across the CK Magma tool bag full of CK tools. They partner partnered up with. No, thanks, mate. <laughs> Did it, mate. They've, uh, oh, fuck, I can't remember the, the two names. What's on the front of the bag? Fajim, I think that's correctly spelled. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, Schneider and CK to create this apprentice tool bag. Oh, wait there. Adam is I'm, just. I've not seen it yet, I'm just having a nosy. So it's the Magma one. It opens the back front. Back, back front, front, middle. Let me have a look a sec. Boom, in there. But what I'm going to do, this is for. An, just got it stuck for apprentices and whatnot. So I'm giving this to Adam. What Adam will do is do a video on his channel very soon. He'll run through the bag, run through the tools inside, and then it's up to Adam what he wants to do. What is the little idea that you've got, mate? Little giveaway. Little giveaway? Yeah, full, yeah. full kit for an apprentice? Yeah, probably just give it away as it is. Maybe put some little, other little treats in there. We'll see. Yeah, all right. So check out Adam's, I'll put Expert Electrical below. Expert, in case you lot don't know, use code Bundy10 on on their website, you can literally get 10% off everything. Fuse box boards, a socket outlets, or everything. So go and check it out, put the link below. Uh, but keep an eye out for Adam's channel for that, and then he will do a giveaway. We linked over to Instagram as well, but it's only for apprentices. We want this to go to apprentices, what it's intended for. So thank you very much, expert. We'll jump inside and we'll show you what we're doing. All right, key things. Work mats, level, long, thin. Uh, I think this is a 12, 14 mil. Not very straight. Drill bit, outside light, we've got the Ansel 20 watt PAR flood, little whisker, uh, coming across, stud finder, just on the safe side, hoover, none of this stuff, multi tool, which I've just sharpened a blade up with my angle grinder for the plaster, SDS, goggles, which are there, can you grab them, mate? Ear defenders, oh, they're mask. the padded ones. Yeah, they're nice ones, tape measure, some batteries, a pot filler, try and get everything as sweet as not. We'd rather bring everything in one go. Well, Adam will, because my back hurts again. And, uh, yeah, that should. What on earth has happened here? What do you mean? Oh, I have too much stuff again. We need to do a van. No, it's actually just that. And God, then, if you get rid of that. And then your car seat. Yeah. Okay. Also, Eagle Eye View is just there. I don't know how dark it is on the screen. Um, the second bag that I'm creating with Velocity, it's for a very niche uh designed for a particular particular uh product uh, but all of the sparks use all the time see on insta i saw a little gap in the market where i think this is what i would actually want and what i'd like to see and we created it and it's i should have the third version today with a few little tiny uh, alterations we got to make i think the size needs to change ever so slightly uh, but my membership group already knows what it is because i sort of send them ideas or pictures of stuff that i uh, i get sent through and the very late stages, so that should be releasing very soon. So keep an eye out, but uh, I know all the sparks, I know you'll love it, trust me. So this is our socket down here. We're we'll taking this off. A few switch spur as close as to over here as we can. By knocking the wall, we can tell it's hollow to about here. With a bit of, there's gonna be a bit of dab in there. We're gonna be drilling it straight through, outside. So it'll be 2.5 mil to the fuse spur. From the fuse spur, it'll be three amp fuse. We will then have a one mil cable going outside to a little coffin whisker box. Uh, it should be a fairly straightforward job. We're sort of running through the process. Obviously, we're going to isolate the supply in a minute for the sockets, get that cut off, locked off. So, outside, this is the bedroom, the wall's here. We're going to be coming down here. What I'm going to try and do, because we're only using a little whisker box, we could use a bigger one. You ever drill from the inside out, especially in a brickwork like this red brick, it will blow out. Ideally, if you ever get it through the mortar, which you can ever tell from the inside because obviously it's double skinned, it's great. But what I'm going to try and do is use my measurements, close the window, go off the pane of glass exactly where I need to be in this wall, drill it from the outside in to try and get it within my zones of my socket and the least damage as possible. That's the plan. And then there'll just be a nice 20 watt flood light here just to spread across and light the garden up. So the first thing that just threw me is this is actually a honeycomb wall. Not very deep, you can just see the back of the wall here. And it has like corrugated, um, corrugated uh, cardboard all in it that's all glued together to create the strength of it. Uh, 
So realistically, we'll use a stud finder, which Mr. Dunlop has. And our issue might now be is if, which there will be, somewhere in the wall is the studs going up. Yeah, the so there's the stud at there. So really, about there. there's not one there, but I, I can see a screw there. There's live cable, apparently. Yeah, so there's definitely, there's definitely a big piece of stud there. Um, yeah, so the job just changed a little bit. What I'm going to do is just run the knife around here, take this box off, we'll probably just take the socket off as well, and uh, see what we can get through. We've got the rods, which are here. See how far we can mash them this way till we hit something, then we'll hold the rod, pull it out, you piece it in of how far it runs across, and then you can sort of work out. But there's definitely a big chunk of wood here. So drilling from the outside in would make a better difference because it would drill straight through the wood. We just need to make sure the measurements are exact because the walls aren't very thick and we don't want to be going into next door either. Box is out, bit of newspaper. We've got a stud work there. This is off. The only reason I've blocked this up this is no way a method of proving dead, but I'm just going to show you that it is off with this pen. It flashes, it should be permanently on. It's not a method of proving dead, but it is off. I've just blocked these up because I just tripped the RCD because the neutral and the earth touched the metal back box. So, so the lady downstairs can still have lights on. I've blocked this off. So it is dead, so don't worry about it. I'm just going to get us a rod. Yep. Excuse me. Poke that through figure out roughly how far away across. You have to jam this cardboard out of the way. It is quite difficult, but it is possible. We've got a single fast fix just in case you want to use that. Jam it across, figure out where we're going. Is that long enough? Should yeah, it should be plenty. Uh, yeah, I'll use that end, it's got the point on. Thank you. Right. Do you want me to? We ended action here, right? I wasn't going to do anything. How far across is that it? No. That's it. Okay. Wait, I mean, should I just do it? Yeah, do your finger. I was just, excuse me. Oh my god, we're coming out with them today. Right, place that on there. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, it's bang on to the, that's gone right to the end. Sound. So, what we want to do, this fuse spur really isn't going to need to be accessible. There's wardrobes that go in front of it. It needs to stay on because it's got the PIR and the day and night setting. It just needs to stay on permanently and it will just come on and off at night. Simple as that. So that's why we're just sort of doing it hidden. We want the least damage as possible. So this will work really well. For us drilling from the outside in, we're going to put the few spurs close to the wall as possible within reason. We'll get the tape out, we'll measure off the floor, we'll get this cut out of the multi tool and then we'll jump back to the drilling outside. Well, is that you got there, mate? You not? Is that you only like? No one commented on my. Did you see my video? Oh my god, over! That's been to be low world on Have you ever watched Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay. Uh, still, guys, 25% off you like code Bundy now. It's not for 25, God, it's just code like Bundy. It. Sorry. Um, put the link below. That's through. You can just see in there, we've hit the wood, which is nice. Adam's feed the rod through, mate. That's what your mum said. Cool. Um, that's through there. So now I'm going to get measurements. I'm going to shut the window. I'm going to go off the glass. Like I've said in previous videos, this pane of glass is exactly the same on the other side, but I don't know about the trim. It could vary in size. So we're going to get Paint of glass straight across this wall. We want to measure the internal wall, half that, and then height wise, same thing, bottom of the pane down to the center of the socket from the outside. And then we'll get some footage of drilling and hopefully fingers we'll crossed. Fingers, super duper fingers crossed. Uh, also, guys, a uh, new tattoo over the weekend. Yeah, mate. So, to anyone who hasn't, no, 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 look at my face first, mate. There we go. Anyone that hasn't had a tattoo yet or is thinking about it, Great, good for you. Just don't do it on your face. Try and stay away from your hands as best as possible. But I'm about to cross that bridge probably soon. Sorry, mom, if you're watching. Um, not but the I, face. No, not the face. Oh, I don't so have my face done. I can get your face tattooed on mine. No one knows the difference. Beautiful. And you're not. Sorry. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, have my elbow done, but you can see this is how sore it gets. So it will look awesome when it's done. But I've got these crusty scabs, and the first night I fell asleep like this. Like, because my arm hurt that much, it was that swollen, and I'd wrapped it up and I fell asleep. So all the scabs healed like this, and then in the morning when you open it up, everything cracks and breaks. I've got long hair sticking on it there. Also, if your boss gets a 
that area is great fun to guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's getting a bit better. It was done uh, five Saturdays, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just be careful where you have it and what you do and make sure you look after it. This is constantly clean because of the work we do. I used to have it in cling film, but it only lasts for a couple of days because it leaks that bad if you haven't had a tattoo. Like, I'm not selling it to people that haven't had one, but I like them as long as you have the appropriate ones in the appropriate places, I would say. But just be careful on site if you've got tattoos because you only get dust in it or knock it. Like yesterday I hid on the door frame yeah. and tears fell from my oh, eyes. Hilarious. And bucket falls. Do you mean it was hilarious? <laughs> right, we'll measure out and we're on the outside. How cool are look. Uh, we measured across. So you can see the lovely measurements on the back of my hand. 52 and a half centimeters from the pain down. And then it's 82. So we're just gonna get a level just to get me a perfect line. It's gonna be around here. We'll be able to drill through the mortar, which is really nice, it lands perfectly. And uh, yeah, we'll get some shots of me drilling. Hopefully it's gonna work. Sweet! You okay there, Adam? Yeah. Yeah? I'm cold, are you? Mm, yeah, I'm quite cold. Yeah, I'm quite cold. Super duper cold. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Compensating, Adam. Oh, oops, yep, sorry, cool. nearly got you then. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go up. I'm just gonna foot the ladder a little bit. It's only steps. It's just a bit slippy. Deck in. I'll put the camera up there. We got our measurement, and away we go. Yeah, go on. Surprise! Take the camera, young boy. Right. Three, two, one, and action. Right. So, oh, why was I right there? So he's through. So whereabouts has he gone? It's perfect, look. So he's literally just come straight into the patris. So yeah, I'll just open the window and chat to Nick and tell him that's all right. Yeah, it's perfect, mate. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, Jordan. <laughs> right, so that's that through, as you've just seen. So now I'm gonna, while well, Nick's outside, just feed through the one mil. I just went to the van and uh, Thought I'd find the uh, one mil, but no, I was right, I did bring it in. Nick just hit it, just saw it. So, right, I'm just gonna feed this through to Nick, and uh, yeah, just leave enough to do the whisker joint, which will have the bit, this bit of one mil, and then the whisker um, stuffing bands for the flex, which will come pre wired on the outside light, but we'll run you through that on the outside, so. So uh, what you guys missed when we were outside, I haven't fed the rod through and where I was at the steps, I was literally, the rod was here. I was talking to him through the window and as he pushed it, it, it was probably that far from poking me in the eye and then also pushing me off the steps. And we didn't have the camera, so it wouldn't have been enjoyable for anyone, but I'm quite happy that didn't happen. Just fed the cable through, through here, and at the back of the pack this out, slide that on top, get that in and, I'm really, really, really chuffed with it. We've got a tiny little bit of flake in there. Obviously, just on the vibration. But uh, as things, all things go, we were thinking we have to cut a big section out. I'm really happy with that. And uh, we'll get this tied back in in a minute, and we'll run down in a second, show you Adam. Just put the little whisker box on and the outside line, setting that up. So yeah, we're well. This is the outside. So what I've done is I have mounted the whisker box, got the little yellow level. It's quite windy, sorry about the wind. Um, and then I've stripped the cables prior to putting this on, as I find it's a bit easier. Uh, sleeved it off, obviously once it was on. So it comes with three Wagos, so I'm going to be using them to connect to the flex, which comes on the outside light. What I like to do, I like to hide the whisker boxes. So I've fed the flex through and behind, like that. As you can see, that coming up behind. So when, if I try this one-handed, right, two seconds, let me just get this on the wall, hold it tight, and then I'll show you. So, that, so that's roughly what it's gonna look like. Obviously I need to level it all off, I've already drawn it. But from down below, you can't really see the, the whisker box unless you literally like, see on the corner of the house looking directly like it, like that. You know, so you haven't got a big, a big flex looping around into the box. It's all nice and hidden. And obviously there's plenty of room for the stuffing gland to still go in. So, that's why I want to tighten this up. Uh, three points of contact, Adam. Left hand needs to go on the framework. Thank oh, you. Is. Thank you. So, got my uh, little inspection buddy with me today. This is Elmo. Elmo, say hi to everyone. <whistles> Elmo! Yes. And then we can meet Seb in a little bit as well, my nephew. It's delicious. 
So uh, I'm going to have a brew inside, Adam. Okay, you okay doing that then, yeah? Yeah, so Sweet, cheers, bro. Don't fall off. Oh. I don't have to claim my insurance. And there's Ramsey. Ramsey pants. Ooh, Elmo. You're so little. What insurance does that mean? My uh, Ryan Trade Insurance, my public uh, liability insurance, my national indemnity insurance. Got that wrong. Personal indemnity insurance. Oh, uh, my accident cover, my life cover. Tool cover. Well, I got my tool cover. All from Ryan Trade Insurance. Use code Bundy ten for ten percent off. But they explain no problem at all. Thank you, Adam, for reminding me. Jeez. It's baby Seb. Hey, mate. How's El Elmo's looking after you? And Ramsey. You'd be on YouTube, you have to watch this when you're older and go, oh, that man touched the end of my nose with dirty fingers. That's exactly what you'll say. Good boy. Right, so that's the uh, terminations done. As you can see, I've, I've snipped down the uh, flex a little bit, but I did tuck a bit up in the whisker box. I forgot to show the camera, but I've been taking photos for Instagram, so I'll get Nick to add a photo now of the terminations inside that box. So now it's literally just come to putting the grubber screws back in the light, which hold the bracket, hold it onto the bracket, and angling it right for where the customer wants it. I'll just plug the GoPro into my uni light again, because it's trash. It just doesn't like the cold. Uh, okay, Adam's done a fanta literally a fantastic job up there. Super happy. He's about to turn it on with a few spur. Go on, Ad. Oh, voila! Done. Folly boy for the electrical work. That's it. Uh, we've got a few more things to do, but we won't be filming that here. And uh, we have a bit of a sweep up. I wish I'd stuck the hoover on the side, but it's gonna a bit of a hoover, a bit of a clean. We've got to hang a towel rail and everything inside, but we won't record that. Uh, make sure you head over to Adam's channel, check all the stuff out. I will put the link below. I said it in the last video, but I forgot to do it. But I will do it. Uh, check out this giveaway. Apprentices, all get on board with the apprentice uh, giveaway that I'm going to do with the magma bag and the CK tools. Make sure you go and give Expert Electrical a follow on Instagram as well. So I'll put all the links below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye bye then. No, he's not here. Sorry. Bye.